Hey guys, welcome back to the video. And in this video, it's kind of a spur of the moment. I'm going to bring you along on my day off. I was not planning to have this day off, but my in-person meeting was canceled and I got a ton of work done yesterday. So we get to spend the day together. So we're kind of going to do some like random stuff. And then also I'll show you a little bit. I'm obviously going to keep working being ahead of things is better than being behind so i'm gonna get ahead and hopefully we'll go to some new places uh to maybe like thrift or shop just here locally because you know gas money so let's get started first thing we're gonna do is i gotta bring my dad his cell phone because he forgot it at home and he's at work and i have to go drop that off and then we're probably gonna go to hardware hank if it's open it might be a little early um and then we'll just go from there. Okay, we have already in ran into the first problem. My key to my truck is in my dad's truck, which he has at work, but we got a spare. And luckily I found it because I didn't think I was gonna find it. Yay. Okay, let's go. Well, so I just dropped off my dad's phone. And I was going to take you guys to this place called Smiling Moose in Casson, But I just looked it up to make sure that they're open. And they're permanently closed. At least that's what Google says. That's so sad. We have like no cute little shops uh, open for breakfast that I can think of. There's one in Manorville. I could go back there. But I just don't want to spend a ton of money on breakfast. Because I'm not a big breakfast person. Like I love breakfast. Like coffee and toast but like like the heavy breakfast foods are not my thing because it makes my stomach hurt really bad for the rest of the day and this is too much information for you guys so let me just figure out where i'm gonna go and i'll bring you guys with so we decided to go to quick trip easy option okay so i set you up so i didn't have to hold you while i uh tell you what i got for breakfast so they have this new thing at quick trip where they have egg bites kind of like you know, what you get at Starbucks or I don't know other places that have them. But they're just like eggs, bacon, cheese, and they're new. And I got some, they're kind of expensive for only two of them. They're like, I wanna say three bucks or $2 in some sense, but whatever. And then I also got this cranberry almond with white cheddar cheese little tray. It's my favorite one. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. And then I am parked out in front of this place I was gonna go check out for furniture or just thrifting stuff, but it's closed. I'll have to check online when they're open, but maybe they don't open today. We'll see. Okay, it's me again, obviously. I have been all over Casson and Manorville looking for places to take you guys, but every place I wanted to go is either permanently closed or closed today, or they're not opening on time. So I kind of gave up on that. That's not gonna happen, unfortunately. But I'll still take you guys along on my day off. We're just not gonna be doing anything in town, which is fine. I'm like, we can still have fun. We don't have to be in town to have fun. So, uh, yeah. I don't even know what to, what to do. Like, I have time off and it's almost super weird that I don't even know what to do. I was going to go kind of work by thrifting and YouTubing. But now that nothing's really open, I'm like lost. Oh. <sighs> Dun, dun. I have this song stuck in my head. It was on the radio on the way back home. It's a Garth Brooks song. Friends in Low Places is the name, I think it goes. Dun, 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 dun. I've got friends in low places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. But I'll be okay. Which is interesting. I don't, 
I do not say that that song is a good song. It's just one that got stuck in my head. It's on the radio. I really don't know what to do. I'm trying to avoid working until 11. Which I don't even know for sure what time it is, if that's right or not. Um, I'm trying to avoid working until 11. Just, you know, because people like say, you need time to take off. Time to yourself. Do I? Or should I just work? Like, yeah, if I had kids and a husband or boyfriend or my own dog, yeah, maybe I would enjoy time off. But when you're single and alone, what's my purpose? Okay, we're going to get into d some deep, 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 deep thoughts. And I don't want to get into that mindset, at least not yet. We can think about that later, like when I'm running, when I work out. We can think about that when I work out. Like I wish I had a best friend who did the exact same job as me so that we could just relate to everything. And like when we want to take a break, we could just hop in my truck and go like get something to eat or go get coffee or go drive around like maniacs or sing songs like crazy. I wish I had that. All my friends are in low places where the whiskey, just kidding, they're not in low places. They're just in far away places and they all have families and lives and they're happy. Woo! Single life over here, it's so much fun. Just kidding. I was talking to my family earlier saying that I should really appreciate in a way not having kids not ha being in a relationship uh not having a dog which is not i don't appreciate that at all kind of do but i would do anything to bring bucko back but back to what i was saying um is that i have like freedom like i can just get in the truck and go whenever i want i can just decide what my schedule is i don't have to work around anyone else's schedule i can cook whatever i want whenever i want to I can work on furniture. I can stay up late. I can wake up really early. Like I can do whatever I want. And when you have kids, like that puts limits on you. Or if you have a relationship, like you obviously have to show up for them and, and work around their schedules, which is makes sense. Duh, that, that's what a relationship is. But when you don't have one, you don't have to do all that stuff. Like you can literally just do whatever you want. And when I say it out loud like this, it might sound really great, but in my mind, I'm like, screw it. I wish I had someone to cook for. I wish I had a family to come home to. I wish I had an animal, mainly probably a dog, that loved me. And I wish I just, I would do anything for all that. But I'm supposed to be thankful for being single and having freedom. That's what I'm supposed to be thankful for. I'm thankful for it. We are thankful for it, everyone together. We are thankful for our freedom in the USA. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, what do you guys want to do? I could work on furniture. I could. Oh, I also went and got a coffee. Like, I don't need a coffee, but I went and got it because I was bored. Which is also not a good idea. Like if I had, if well, I do have money. I just don't want to spend it on gas. But if I had a friend right now, I had a friend and I had some decent gas money to spend, I would just like get in the truck. We're getting coffee. We're going all day thrifting till we cannot thrift any longer. We would do it. I would take someone thrifting. You want know to be amazing if someone took me thrifting. You know, just someone who wants to take me thrifting. Whatever. Let's go do something. I'm I'm talking way too much. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Probably we're probably gonna end up working. 
sorry guys. I have, technically my work is done, but I have things I could catch up on, not catch up on, get ahead on, and I'm gonna do it, because I have freedom.